welcome back to day five of our surrender practice. Today is all about hips like honey. So as you might notice, this short sequence gives you the opportunity to be free and to practice wherever you are. So it's an opportunity to implement that practice that you need it all the time. Just this 50 minutes per day can change the whole day, um, also the whole mindset um, on a long term. Um, so today is all about hips like honey. So in this 15 minutes, I just want to make you move and to feel that sensation of honeyness that I've talked at the beginning of uh, the surrender practice. I'm so happy to have you here. As usual, you just need yourself and your mat. So thank you for being here. So we will start directly in downward facing dog. We will glide a few times into some waves to get mobilizing the spine. So lift both heels away from the mat, bend gently into your knees and just feel that yummy sensation of a long super spine. With your next inhalation, ripple forward into a high plank, but giving your vertebra step-by-step, movement-through-movement opportunity of release. Maybe you had a long day already, or maybe you're just starting your morning. Whatever it is, just feel a sensation of moving every vertebra. With your exhale, glide back into downward facing dog two more times inhale ripple forward moving your shoulders over your wrists but keep your upper body super round exhale glide back downward facing dog one more time inhale ripple forward and exhale glide back downward facing dog one more time inhale ripple forward and exhale, glide back. With the next inhalation, lift both heels away from the mat, bend into your knees and slowly lift your right leg up and back. Three-legged dog, open directly your right hip, bend into your right knee, a little bit also into your left knee. So you have the sensation of creating more space in your right leg with your right knee. With your next exhalation, circle your right knee forward to your right armpit, bringing your shoulders over your wrist, but keep your arms super straight, chin to chest, activating your navel to your spine, and slowly bring your right foot forward to the right outer edge of your right hand. Woo! So your toes are pointing forward, come onto your fingertips and feel free to create more space between your feet um, and simultaneously press your right heel down and lift your hips a little bit higher. So you have also that sensation of control in your right, in your right hip rather than your right glute. With your next inhalation, lift your gaze. And with your exhalation, melt a little bit more into the shape. But it feels accessible to you and you don't need the blocks. Bring your forearms down so you're having more sensation in your hips. But simultaneously, imagine how you're pressing your inner thighs towards the midline. So we want a yummy stretch, but as I said already, it's also important to keep everything centered. And the center is our, our hips, the hip bones, and all the anatomical in between. Stay here for one more breath. And slowly come back onto your fingertips. Lift your gaze. And with your next exhalation, bring your left foot forward to the left outer edge of your left hand. Rotate your toes outward and your heels inward. Slowly bring your glutes down, melting down and bring your fingertips forward so you have the sensation of a round spine. You can move from side to side. Just checking in. If it's not accessible for you right now, that position, feel free to bring a block underneath your hip bones or 
something else that feels similar, yummy and juicy to you. With your next inhalation, lift your gaze and simultaneously also your hips. So your knees and your hip bones in, uh, are in one line. Exhale, slow down. One more time. Inhale, lift your hips. So your hip bones and your knees are in one line and you're feeling the fire in your thighs but also in your glutes. And keep and shift your, your weight into your hands. This is the most important thing. Exhale, melt down and lift your heart now forward. But if it feels better for you, keep your fingertips down. So they are kind of supportive to you right now. Inhale, lift your gaze. And with your exhalation, lift your glutes. And keep your hip bones in one line with your knees and shifting your weight into your heels. Slowly exhale, release. Open with your inhalation, your heart forward. One more time, exhale, lift your glutes away from the mat, keeping your glutes and your, and your knees in one line, shifting the weight into your heels, but have the, have the feeling as you would press your heels towards the midline. Exhale, ooh, come back one more time. Inhale, you're lifting your gaze, and exhale, Bring your, lifting your glutes and keep your hip bones in one line with your knees. <laughs> and slowly exhale, release, inhale, lift. And now with your next exhalation, lift your glutes up whoo, into a forward fold whoo, and feeling that sensation of moving side by side to come a little bit more deeper into every part of your body. From here, rotate your toes forward, so they are pointing forward. And as we came, we are going back. Press your right heel down and release your left foot back. And inhale, lift your gaze. With your next inhalation, straight into your right leg. Bring your chin to your chest, lifting your hip and slowly release your right hip over the side, up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh. With the next inhalation, ripple forward into a high plank, bringing your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, glide back. Our little vinyasa movement, roll up forward into a high plank and slowly melt your hip bones down Keep your thighs active and with your next inhalation, without releasing your knees on the mat, bend into your elbows, rotate your upper arms outward and opening your heart and bringing your chest, chin away from the chest. Exhale, chin to chest, activating your core and press yourself up and back, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, ripple forward. Vertebra by vertebra, bringing your shoulders over your wrist. Exhale, melt your hip bones down without releasing your thighs or your knees on the mat. Lifting your, with simultaneously your gates. Bending into your elbows, rotate your arms outward, opening your heart. Exhale, chin to chest, press yourself back and into a downward facing dog. With your next inhalation, lift your left leg up. Open your left hip and bend your left knee. Slowly circle your left knee forward to your left armpit, releasing your left foot onto the left outer edge of your hands. Your toes are pointing forward. Shift your weight into your heels and with your next inhalation lift your gaze and feel free to move your right leg a little bit backwards so you have more sensation in your thighs if it feels comfortable and accessible for you right now stay here if it if you want to go a little bit deeper melting a little bit deeper bring your forearms down but as i mentioned before it's important to keep everything active even if it's a, it's a soft stretch 
imagine you are pulling your your navel in, your cubic bone in, and simultaneously your inner thighs are pressing towards the midline. So the center of your body <laughs> is super active. Stay here for one more breath. And slowly come up. Lift your gaze. Inhale, shift your left glute back. And with your exhalation, press into your left heel and slowly get out of the weight of your right foot and bring your right foot forward ah, to the right outer edge of your hand. Rotate your toes outward and your heels inward and slowly let your glutes melt down and simultaneously Bring your fingertips forward and feel that sensation in between your shoulder blades, your chin. You get super round in between your shoulder blades. Move from side to side. Take one more breath here, feeling your thighs, your chin. Feeling your heartbeat. With your next inhalation, lift your gaze. With your next exhalation, bring, the sh bring your weight into both heels and slowly lift your hips in one line with your knees. So the crown of your head is facing forward and you get a little bit lighter into your fingertips. So the weight is completely into your heels. With your exhalation, drop down and inhale, lift your gaze. We will do this for four more times. And exhale, bring your, lift your hips away from the mat in one line, keep them in one line and a super straight spine. And exhale, come back. Inhale, lift your gaze, feel that long spine and how your cubic bone is facing down and the crown of your head up. Slowly exhale, shift into the heels, pressing your heels firmly down and towards the midline. Simultaneously, your hip bones are in one line with your, he with your knees. Exhale, drop down, lift your gaze. Feel all these two different points facing in two different directions that give you stability. And slowly exhale, lift your hips and release. Inhale, open. One more time, lift your hips and open. Ooh. With your next exhalation, straight into your arms, into all into a forward fold, bringing the toes pointing forward and just let yourself drop, let your knees super soft so your glutes are pointing up and the crown of your head is getting heavy and heavier and heavier. Just feel that moment of releasing, of feeling that yummy stretch. Feel free to pedal your legs a little bit out. And this yummy honeyness that can be that can be sweet, but sometimes also super spicy. With the next inhalation, lift your gaze, come on to your fingertips, but keep your fingertips down. With your exhalation, release your right foot away from the mat, bring it backward. Inhale, lift your gaze, shift your left glute back. Exhale, straight into your left leg, release your left foot and slowly bring your left foot up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, release both hands and both feet down. Inhale, our little vinyasa practice, ripple forward into a high plank. Exhale, drop your belly down without releasing your knees, inhale, lift your gaze, bend into your elbows, rotate your upper arms outward. Exhale, chin to chest, glide back into, into downward facing dog. One more last time for today, ripple forward. Into a high plank, exhale, drop your hip bones down. Inhale, lift your gaze, act, 
keep your legs super active. So you are pressing your heels back, opening your heart forward. And with your exhalation, now release both knees back to the mat. And untuck your toes and slowly shift your glutes back to your heels. Inhale, ripple up into a seated position, opening your arms wide to the side. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart, closing your eyes, relaxing your jar. And give yourself that moment of stillness. Which sensation, which thought might come up right now. And whatever it is, smile to yourself. And tell yourself how thankful you are to surrender. Slowly open your eyes and thank you so much for joining me on day four. I'll see you tomorrow.